Hello my little lovebirds, Tanya TKO here and today is Tuesday, the continuation of Man Week. Round of applause, yay! And I'm really excited. So you know, I, I definitely want to first start by thanking all of the men out there, my very loyal 70% fan base that uh, that wrote to me and complained about the subject matter of the bulk of my videos and I realized after doing yesterday's video and today's video because we have a very fun fun topic today which is 21 great first date ideas and I realized after writing out the notes for today's video that I, I that I have not been paying attention to my male viewership and that really just I don't know it was just it was just a tremendous amount of fun and that by helping men I'm helping everyone because these first great ideas are going to benefit a lot of wonderful women and men out there so I definitely I definitely am enjoying this so let's get started all right I would say that we're going to have another trivia inside this video and then at the end of the video, well, I'll tell you now, please write to me f um, with your trivia question. I'll give you a speci special mention in the next video and I'll, I'll ask you a question if I choose it. But yesterday's question, I'm still waiting for an answer. Watch yesterday's video and tell me what the answer is to this tile laying problem. Answer both parts, please. You guys are very smart out there. so. Don't, don't, don't let me down. <laughs> so listen. Oh, you know what? I'm wearing red today. And don't I look like Christmas come early? <laughs> yes, I feel like it. So without further ado, let's get into today. Oh, let's talk about, before I give you the, 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 the list, let's talk about the whole purpose of dating. Now, the purpose of dating is to get a chance to get to know this young woman, give the woman a chance to get to know you, um, to spend some time with each other, figure out if you like one another, get to learn her personality, let her get to learn you. So I'm also inside this video going to give you five do's and five don'ts. Um, number one part of the do's, you wanna be able to talk, you do want to touch, you do want to sweat. <laughs> number four, you do want to laugh. And number five, you do want to think. Now I'm gonna give you some examples of those and I'm gonna give you five things that you do not want to do. You do not want the date to be testosterone filled. You don't wanna do something that she's incredibly ignorant about, like something she knows nothing about and it would require a tremendous amount of Will it require more time than the activity to explain it to her? <laughs> Number three is something she doesn't have any interest in. Number four is you don't want to do things that are triple X expensive. Uh, number five, you don't want to start out w on your first date with your child. <laughs> I know that may be a given to some people, but you'd be surprised. And I'm gonna give you a bonus. You don't wanna do anything sexual. Taking her to the toy shop, the sex toy shop on a first date is a bad idea, unless she suggests it. <laughs> okay, okay. And I'm gonna give you a bonus for, um. did I give you the bonus for, oh, for the, the dudes that you wanna make her feel? feel something. Now just to qualify myself, as you all know, I'm Tanya TKO, your love guru, and I have been out on quite a number of dates. So at this stage, you know, I'm in my 30s, I've been what, going out on dates since I it was in my 20s. So you can imagine that there have been a lot of people who have come and gone. What I want to do is I want to set you above the rest. I want you to stand out and be a hero, be a knight in shining armor, and be someone that she will remember forever. And I'm going to give you a variation on each one. I'm going to give you a, um, 11. And then I'm going to give you a variation on one, on each one, the playerific move. And then we'll see if, if some of you out there can, can stand up to the task. So I definitely want you to give me your feedback and let me know what happened when you tried some of these first date moves, my dears. <laughs> my love, Paris. I love you guys so much. You have no idea. So listen. All right. Let's get right into it. Number one. Number one for the first date is you want to do something 
out of the ordinary. You also want to do something in nature. Let me tell you something, men. Hmm. Some of some people out there argue with me that we are not animals, but oh yes, we are. Take this young lady out into nature. Let her un un unravel, unravel or reveal some of her more animalistic natures. And you too, you too. Take her canoeing or kayaking. Go out there on the water, beautiful scenery. You have to check in your area. Some of you are in areas where the leaves turn, but it's still warm enough to go kayaking. Very beautiful scenery. You want to, you want to touch the senses. Remember I talked about talk, touch, sweat, laugh, think, and the bonus feel. Should I write those on the, I'll, I'll write those on the right. Oh goodness. I might not want you looking at that. Well, you know, I gotta write anyway. Okay, here we go, here we go. The, the five that you want to make her do is, do you wanna, you wanna talk? You wanna try to touch, nothing sexual, but you, um, you definitely want to be able to come into physical contact with her. Laugh, laughing is always great when you guys share in something and the bonus is feel. If you can make her feel an emotion, as long as that emotion is not anger. <laughs> you know, that's what, that's what you don't want. You don't want that. Let me just square this. Okay, so take her out into nature. Let her see something beautiful. And the playerific move on number one is, huh? Take your shirt off. If you look great under your shirt, take your shirt off and let her see some of those muscles rippling as you're canoeing or kayaking that boat. Hey. Let her get an idea of what, what she has to work with. <laughs> and then number two. Number two on the list is a picnic. I, you know, I want to come up with a, a more politically correct word than picnic. Well, what, what, barbecue doesn't fit. Can you guys help me with that? Because I know, if you guys don't know the origin of the word picnic, look it up. It's, it's, it's not very pretty. But um, you can't, I can't say cookout. Oh, I, I, I can't I can't think of anything else to call it but please write in the comments because I I need to know that one take her take her out where she can um where you guys can go out and eat get yourself a basket and I'm going to put some um, I'm gonna put some links down below of places that you can get some very masculine baskets I'm gonna show you mine this is my picnic basket I've had this since I was in college and it's very simple, very easy. They don't go bad. Look at this. It's blue on the inside, so it's not terribly feminine. And and they have the the, the plates, the cups are, are down there. Inside they have forks, spoons, knives. And one thing that I want to tell you, get some citronella candles for your sweetie. The last thing you want to do is go out into nature and then bugs start disturbing you. These are some very pretty... You, when you go when you go to the store you, and, and I'll put some links below for what you can find and um, and and all keep your matches in there you don't want to go out with your sweetie and then bugs start ruining the, the, the afternoon and you can definitely in there some more masculine looking ones so I'm gonna tell you just some things to put in the bag I mean the basket get some gourmet bread go to some place like Zabar's or Trader Joe's get some really really nice crusty gourmet bread some organic cheese you can buy an entire rotisserie chicken you don't have to do the cooking yourself you can get an organic rotisserie chicken because you don't don't know what her eating preferences are and it shows that you care about your health when you go organic as well some olives some wine <laughs> and some fruit and the player move on this is bring a camera take her out into nature and women love to feel special let me tell you you make that woman feel pretty and she's all yours. Take pictures of her in nature. And not only will it, is it a great, a great, a great thing for the date, but you'll also be able to save those for memories. Oh goodness, time is ticking. We gotta move on. We gotta move on. Okay. So number three is you wanna get, you wanna do something athletic, like you wanna take her wall climbing. You want to take her like rock climbing, wall climbing. You want to um, do something that will make you sweat. Just to explain, the we emit pheromones. 
human beings, we emit pheromones. And when you sweat with a woman, it it triggers the, 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 the response that is triggered when a person is sexually excited. During intercourse, you sweat. And when you sweat with a woman outside of intercourse, it releases the same pheromones. So you can arouse this woman. <laughs> you can make her become more attracted to you by sweating with her. So think of some ideas. Take a wall climbing, ice skating, rollerblading. Just sweat with the girl. Then afterwards, get a, a healthy fruit smoothie. So that's number three. And the um. So number number four. Number four is go karaokeing. Karaoke. And the player move on that is to do songs that are duets and it's even better if you can't sing this will make her laugh you guys will be able to come into contact with one another she'll have a feeling you'll create memories that's what it's all about creating memories creating a lasting impression and then here we um and then number five <laughs> number five is one of my favorite actually number five is a specialty restaurant a restaurant that special specializes in something uh, like you know what look it up every every city every every city has um has some sort of specialty restaurant some restaurants is specialized in a particular dish right take her to a specialty restaurant that is famous in your area for something in New York we have Shake Shack which is famous for these burgers and fries and drive-in types of things and we have a plethora plethora of different restaurants and the player move the playerific move on that one is to take her to three restaurants this serves so many purposes for you. Take it to a restaurant that specializes in some particular appetizer or drinks. Go there to start it off. Then leave there and go to another restaurant that specializes in a main course. After you finish eating a wonderful meal there, go to a restaurant that specializes in a dessert. This is going to serve you more than one purpose because not only will you be able to have good food and she'll, and you know, because food sometimes, uh, the pleasures of food um, latches on to the the same the same oh gosh the same receptors that okay eating good food can be like having good sex okay listen let me just put it plainly instead of the, the, the technical stuff so you definitely want to get good foods and her get her feeling really nice and going to more than one restaurant it changes the scenery changes the venue and it creates a tremendous amount of instant rapport because it makes it seems like seem like you guys have known each other for longer so that you end up getting three dates in one and now we're about to move over into the advanced stuff Fellas, this is for the real players out there who are taking no prisoners. <laughs> I don't know if you're ready for this. If, you, if you're not ready, you may not be ready. <laughs> Number six, long drive. You want to take her on a long drive to a neighboring city. Like, you know, for example, I'm in New York. Take a long drive to Philly, two, two and a half hours away, or upstate New York, or someplace else. Go on a long drive along the way, or you could take the Greyhound so you guys can sit down and talk with one another, have a rental car waiting for you at the, at the other spot, unless they have great public transportation there. Go, to, go, go there, go sightseeing in another city, go, um, go, uh, to the movies, go out to dinner in another state, go walk along their boardwalk, see another state. It's trust me, fellas, this is a real player. This advanced right here, but it works. And the playerific move right there is to spend the night and get two hotel rooms and do not try to cross the threshold. Believe me, she'll be thinking about you all night and she'll be impressed by how much of a gentleman you are. But the player, take, go on that long drive to another state. Get to know one another. Get to talk and laugh. Create some memories. Right? You know, bring your camera. Fellas, if you have not taken a photography course on the weekends, please do. Women love to be beautiful and women love to take pictures. Some men have figured this out. Get yourself a nice, not a cheap old digital camera. Go get yourself a film camera and make it an experience. Go to a place to get the film developed. Okay, we have to move on. We have to move on. Number seven. 
Now you may not understand this, but take it from your big sister, Tanya TKO. Go the Taurus route in your own state. And um, go the Taurus route in your state. <clears throat> How do I put this? I'm in New York. And believe me, it, as much as I have traveled, there are tourist things in New York City which I have not seen. Proximity. The closer a person is to something, the more they take it for granted. And she will really appreciate you bringing these new memories into her life. And the playerific move on the tourist route is to bring a camera. Take some really corny tour touristic pictures. As much as I, I, listen, I have pictures in front of the pyramids, I have pictures in Petra and at the Dead Sea, but I do not have any pictures in front of the Statue of Liberty. Take my word for it, I have no pictures in front of the, the Empire States Building, none of that. So take her on the Taurus route. And then number eight, which is a really great one, thrift shopping. Go thrift shopping or to the flea market with her and buy her something, some nice little trinket that she can keep with her. And it, it, and this serves so many purposes. That's the, the, the playerific move. Go thrift shopping and the playerific move is to buy a trinket for her. It, something very inexpensive but something souvenirish that she can keep and this serves the purpose in helping her to always have you on her mind every time she sees that little trinket she'll think of you and then number nine we're getting towards the end of the list now look inside the phone book and go to a drive-in movie they still have them out there. A drive-in movie is so much better than the regular theater because you don't have a bunch of people around. It's just you and her inside the car. And the playerific move on that is to see a scary movie or a sad movie where something that'll make her cry so you can hold her. That's the play where you might not be ready for that. But listen, that's the playerific move right there. And then number 10, which is one of my favorites, Take her to an adult arcade or an amusement park or a boardwalk or something along, uh, along those lines. Something like Coney Island or the boardwalk at Atlantic City or an adult arcade like Dave and Buster's. Search for that. I'll put the link down below, but search for those in your area. And the bonus, the bonus, 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 bonus. Here we have number 11. Number 11, if you're ready for this, get yourself signed up on one of those travel websites like TravelZoo.com. Even US Air has one of these. The, the airlines will alert you of last minute ticket fares that are, that are on sale. Let me explain something to you. Take it from your traveling big sister. Whether a plane has 150 people on it or one person on it, it has to go to that destination. So rather than foregoing making any money for those extra seats, these airlines will offer very discounted seats at the very last minute. So you can put yourself on a list where you can find out three days in advance for a ticket to Paris for $299 round trip, $399 round trip. This is a, an advanced playerific move. You can fly out to Aspen and go skiing. You can take a whole host of day trips or overnight trips for the low low. And it guaranteed to impress her. Guaranteed to impress her. And one and, oh, the, the last minute trips. And the bonus on the list is to Give her a nickname very early on, whatever her first and last name is, you know, her initial, come up with some nickname um, that has something to do with her name or something like that. And while you're out thrift shopping or go to the mall or something and go to an embroidery place and get her a hat or a sweater or something with this nickname that you have given her and that my dear is the entire list and you are guaranteed to be her hero to be the suavest to put yourself above all of the rest take it from me who has gone on plenty 
of dates so I know and I want you all to know too so make sure you um, make sure you subscribe to my videos here come back tomorrow we're gonna be doing the live show on does size matter so I need the ladies to participate in that one as well and fellas please continue to send me your questions I really love these man week videos every day this week we're gonna be talking about man issues we're gonna talk about sex we're gonna talk about love we're gonna talk about relationship and most importantly we're gonna talk Talk about girls so subscribe to my videos here come over to my Facebook facebook.com forward slash Tanya TKO show follow me on Twitter and come to my personal website tanya tko.com I love you and I'm out your love guru peace